kind of question myself <laughs> even, Sonny, but you know. Well, that makes two of us see. there, fuck it. So there you have it. My key for them, honestly, is... Oh, I see legit! The with the dirty no scope. That was phenomenal, folks. You saw it right there. Add it to the list if you're counting. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Legit, this is a kid, phenomenal, who, when he comes going on, when he gets going, it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. You know what? He can single-handedly throw a team you know, out of their game plan, and right now he's doing that to ambush, and I think it's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah he really is playing phenomenal Sundance right now. Um, his As sniper's you know, phenomenal. His BR, phenomenal. phenomenal. It's all phenomenal. Uh, it's phenomenal. Oh. It's phenomenal. He's got two phenomenal players in front of him, but the phenomenalness there uh, with that sniper rifle just took down Nexus. It's he's, 172 he's, to 71. They have a hundred more seconds, according to my math. And your math is always bad, so you're probably right, though. I don't know. I can't do the math. I'm too excited watching legit right here. Thank so you, Miss McGreevy. Fourth so, grade, you're my favorite. So anyway, for those folks who aren't aware, there was a contest on the forums. If you could predict how many times Bucket and I would say the word phenomenal here on Championship Sunday night, you would win yourself a pass. The game of your choice for the Dallas MLG Pro Circuit event, which is coming up pretty soon. Now. What we have happening right here is we've got Straight Ribbon looking solid, as you said, up, you know, just about 100 seconds there now, ambush back in the hill. What, you know, but what, I don't think it's going to last ambush? long. However, we got a sniper in the hands of Nexus. Let's check him out as he just shut down two players from Straight Ribbon. He's only got one bullet left, though, so I think this hill time is going to be short-lived for ambush as all of Straight Ribbon is pushing in aggressively. But first, they're going, off of, they're going after Nexus. jump back on board with ambush they just got 40 seconds right there on that middle hill which is so hard to control i don't know if straight ripping laying back a little bit or if they were just getting outside let's jump on board with pistola from ambush he's got the sniper and t2's he's got a respawn there goes neighbor for the double kill that is two members for straight ripping down oh my wearing legit on the opposite side of the map but so are all of pistola's teammates someone's got to get hill time for them because they only have 4 14 left in this game and again, Pistola there, a pretty smart move. He's got the snipe, so he's not going to hop in the hill and become an easy target. He's going to lay back and try and pick people off as they make their way into the hill. It sounds obvious, but you wouldn't believe how many players we've seen, even on the pro circuit, who'll just run in there and try and get that hill time when they're down. Now, if you got the power weapon, you got to play smart. And one player who does that better than anyone else is probably T-squared. Yeah, i got to say, a lot of people have seen T-Squared turn into an amazing player this season. I think the, the real key to it is his teammates. He feels like he has a team that can support him, a team that's got his back. And you know what? It's showing right now because they're playing very well here against Ambush. Rebounding nicely from a disappointing loss last night. Nice shot right there by Pistol on the chin. What I love about these tournaments is Saturday night is Saturday night. Sunday, everyone starts fresh. Straight ripping. They came into this one with new energy. I saw them up at 9 a.m. warming up in the Dr. Pepper booth. That's impressive. 9 a.m. for those guys. That means they were in bed early. That's what they need to do. I'm, I'm sure some of these teams out here wish that they had followed suit and done the same thing. The thing that I really like is the fact that you look at what might have happened if maybe Straight Ripping gets past Ambush last night. Maybe they don't get the wake-up call. Maybe they just coast into Sunday, and you know what happens? They get beat here badly. But no, they lost early. They're fighting back, doing a good job so far. And they had a tough, they had a tough road at them. They had Carbon there on the same side of the losers bracket. Now, that's something to touch on real quick. Classic Carbon, straight ripping, and final boss. All on one side. That's right. Four of our top six teams all on the same side of the losers bracket. Straight ripping, the only one of the four to break the top four. Pistola staying alive for quite a while here. This team still down. It's time becoming a factor for him. He knows. Well, he's looking for the overkill. It wasn't up yet. There's only two minutes left in this game. A buck 98 to a buck 24. Straight ripping, sitting on top as they just now break the 200 second mark. We're staying on board with Pistola, though. Hines has got the Rockets in front of him. 
they got some power weapons, but now they need to start focusing on hill time because Straight Rippin is picking up 15, 20 seconds at a time. You see Hellmite Warrior just dancing in the hill there. And Pistola, he's not even looking at the hill and he's still getting shot. Staying alive though, which is which is you know it's a key to this game pick, but the fact of it is, if he's staying alive and his teammates aren't able to get to the hill, it's not. Oh my goodness! Neighbor chased him across the map and Pistola made him pay for it, sticking him right on the map. That was nasty, phenomenally nasty. Just how phenomenally nasty was it, Sunday? It's like when you cross a phenom and an animal, you know what you get? You stole that. From I me. sure did. Phenomenal. <laughs> knock knock. Who's that? Phenomenal. <laughs> All right, well, Mudvayne's there. Nexus is there, but no one's in the hill. Finally hopping in. <laughs> That's Neighbor right, folks. We've got interns hit. back in New York City who are going to listen to this broadcast and count up all the phenomenals because they're phenomenally underpaid, and that's the way it works when you're a phenomenal employer like Major League Gaming. Yeah, I love interns. Got to give a big shout-out to Sammy. Sammy Doodle did my expense reports from San, San Diego. I appreciate it, buddy. 217 to buck 40. I think it's mathematically impossible for Ambush to win. Straight Ripping will move on to the losing bracket finals. Yeah, straight Ripping coming back. I think a lot of people may be surprised by this, but you know what? With the talent and ability that that team has showed us in the past, you can't sleep on them. You can't sleep on them. Now, what I would love to see is I would love to see Instinct play their level that they're capable of against Straight Ripping playing their level. And whoever wins that, I think is going to be primed for a great matchup against Triggers Down. To be honest, I was waiting for this match, except I thought it was going to happen in winner's bracket finals. Straight ripping and instant coming into this one. Well, there you go, you know. Yeah, it didn't happen. What My boy's Triggers Down doing well. SK is the best coach on the circuit mid-game. SK, yeah, he's the best <laughs> uh, three-man you know, three team coach I've ever seen anyway. T2, Ellen White. This guy's got to be happy coming back, redeeming themselves a little bit, especially Elamite. There were some questions about whether or not he was, he was sleeping. Well, there you have it. Straight ripping, knocking Ambush out. Pistola and crew. Pistola, one of my favorite players. The kid's got amazing energy, great player. He's finally got a great team. I'm looking for Ambush to do big things coming back. This is a building block for them. No way are they done. But you know who's already doing big things? T2, Elamite, Legit, and Neighbor. These guys rebounding nicely after we had said that they didn't seem to have any fire. Ambush somehow lights a fire under their ass and gets them back on track. Well, Neighbor came in this morning, told me, we're winning this tournament. No, he said, don't say that. But I said, you know what? I'm going to say it anyway because I kind of believe you kind of don't. We'll see if he can make it happen here. I'm excited. Straight ripping, going to be facing off against Instinct coming up in the losers bracket finals. That's going to be great. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see what's going to be going on. we got a lot more here for Championship Sunday at MLGPro.com.